Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Chicago Trader uh, jumping in here with uh, week five uh, fundamental video here. This one I've been asked a few times in the past week to do something on kind of what I look for in the morning on a stock. So we're talking a pretty basic five, 10, maybe 15 minutes um, you know, overview of what I'm gonna be looking at in the morning. Obviously, if something is still running, uh, holds up well, I'm gonna be looking way deeper, but you know, I don't have the time to do 30, 40 minutes on each stock moving. So I'm gonna, there's no PDF to this, so just follow along on the video. Uh, again, this is kind of just a quick overview of what I'm looking for. Uh, it may take you a little bit longer. Obviously, if you're newer, don't be discouraged. You'll be able to do this stuff you know, just as fast, if not quicker than I can. So I'm gonna jump into one. Obviously, I just, I'm gonna do a company that uh, we're all familiar with and I've actually touched on before. Uh, last time I did it, heck, the thing actually jumped up the next week, so maybe um, we can be lucky enough that this thing does a PR. Um, Watt. Um, so the first thing, obviously, dilution is the, you know kind of what I want to um, look into. It's kind of what gives me my edge and my confidence. So you can see here the last. It looks like there's you know no recent dilution in the last year or so. They do have the shelf, but again, there hasn't been anything since. I mean, really, the quickest way you can just kind of punch up the. So here are the most recent 10 Qs. Um, you know, look, 25 million shares. So you can jump to the next quarter, 25 million. So if we come through, um, so the next thing, cash, obviously pretty important. So you can see here the balance sheet, uh, the cash situation is 28.5, and that's uh, as of September 30th. So let's just call this October 1st for simplicity. Um, so we can punch that in, 28.5 million. What else here? So then you can see the total current liabilities don't have a lot of debt. Um, they did a pretty big ATM last year, and I believe they paid some of it off, if I recall correctly. But, um, you know, nothing that's, you know, I guess a positive from the standpoint. So the networking capital. With that, what else? So there's not much dilution. Um, I wanted to scroll down here. Some of the other things, obviously, they have the nature of the business. I already know this. Liquidity and management. This usually gives you a, a little bit of updates on the offerings, um, the cash situation. Another thing I highlighted here, um, not all that important, but just thought I'd make a note of it. You can see that it says the company expects uh, expects the cash on hand as of October 1st. Um, with anticipated revenues, it'll be sufficient to go into quarter four of 2019. So again, this is a company I know well. They've anticipated revenues for you know two years. They over promise, under deliver. So obviously you have, they're gonna be out of cash May 1st. Um, so they have to, they have the shelf. If I come back here, 